Hey, guess what? So it's day Oyabumi. I just wanted to let you know that I recently published my ebook, The Intuitive Tarot Guide for people new to their tarot journeys. If you're interested in learning the meanings of cards, if you want to know how to read the tarot intuitively and get a sneak peek into my own personal process for reading cards through a bonus video, hit up my website, daydreamalston.com. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Welcome to another episode of Messages from Ori, where I channel clear and accurate, divine guidance and messages from the collective consciousness. I hope you are well today. Thank you for joining me. So today we're discussing healing for the divine feminine. So before we get into that, if you're interested in your own personal reading on this topic or any other topics, um, tarot readings, ephi readings, uh, head orisha readings, ephi orisha related ebooks, online trainings, you know, and other things, check out my website, daydreamalston.com backslash store. I say. So I hope that as you're watching this, you are tapped in and tuned into some positive vibes, honey, posy vibes for the Divine Feminine Collective. I wanted to do this reading because I feel like it's so important to identify the ways in which the divine is encouraging us to heal as a collective, okay? So let's get into it. Today I'm using uh, Miss Cleo's Tarot Power Deck. Angels and Ancestors Oracle Cards, and the Language of Flowers deck. And say hello to my crystal babies. Hi, crystal family. Okay, Divine Feminine, we got a lot of things to work through. <laughs> We're at a pivotal moment in history where we really have, are being given, gifted the ability to pivot to go in a new direction to identify practices and ways of living and being that haven't worked for us and um, we're going to be able to discern and figure out what new ways we should be living in you know what new things we should be uh, going towards that is the gift from the divine at this time it hasn't been easy getting to this place to this space but here we are so let's see what the divine has to say about the collective healing for the divine feminine. Like, what do we need to know? What do we need to focus on? Uh, really quickly, I did a, a channeling, right, a reading where I used my clear audience abilities, tarot, oracle cards, and things like that to get information about um, fibroids. So I, I called it the fibroid spiritual investigation, where I really looked into the spiritual causes and cures um, of and for fibroids. So if that's something you're interested in, check out my website, daydreamalsa.com. Some really interesting information came up. Um, I'll be surprised if it doesn't come up here. Um, it was just talking about different ways that we are energetically attracting fibroids to, to our womb, one of those ways is by not releasing dead weight. There are things in our lives that are dead. Um, relationships, you know, ways that we're making money, jobs, um, ways that we behave, thought processes, and because we're still carrying them and trauma, um, we're actually storing that death in our wounds. So that's something that came up. Please go on over to the website if you struggle with fibroids because I feel like it would be really helpful for you to hear what the divine had to say. The reading is only $9.99 on my site, okay? All right, let's get into this divine feminine. What do we need to know for our healing? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? A lot of a lot of passion here, a lot of fire. What do we need to know for our healing? The healing of the divine feminine. Okay, so the divine is saying that part of our healing 
is going to be in really choosing our path forward, right? Very consciously. So the divine is saying that we are being given and we already have it, but maybe in the coming days, weeks, months, years, we'll be tapping into it more. But there's this fiery, passionate, very invigorating energy that is available to the divine feminine. And, you know, it causes us to have like this fire put underneath us. And there's this action oriented um, energy coming towards us. Uh, what's happening, though, is the the divine is encouraging the divine feminine to make a conscious effort to use this energy wisely, to use it to collaborate, to build, to um, build solid foundations, right? To work together, to um, to create businesses, to follow our passions, to teach the, the next generation, to build homes, legacies. Now, what the divine is discouraging us, you know, is telling us to avoid doing is um, taking that passion and getting into battles with others. Battles of will, you know, like you having one opinion, someone else having another opinion. You see the the duality here, right? There's like working together in the, the three of coins, working together, collaborating. Um, and that brings success. Whereas the five of staffs is competition, is fight, it's backbiting, it's petty squabbles. You're not getting anywhere with this, this energy, right? So it's showing that you have this energy coming in. And this is what you need to use the energy for is to build or you can use it to destroy, right? The divine is saying that's the choice that you have. But in terms of our healing as the divine feminine, I think this is showing that we have this immense power available to us from the spiritual realms, um, very passionate and fiery, that sometimes if we're smart, we use it to collaborate, to build, right, to teach. But sometimes we get caught up in the ego and we actually end up damaging our relationships, damaging our life, doing damage because we're taking that energy, that passion and doing the wrong things with it. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is amazing. So this card says, choose your path, direction guardian, right? So I think that is key to what I've just, I just said. The divine is saying they've given us and are giving us everything that we need. And we have this great power and energy. And we get to decide which path we take, what we're doing with that energy. So the, the divine feminine, I want to encourage you to move cautiously and with discernment throughout your life. Like really pay attention to the decisions you're making. Um, pick your battles. Know that it's time to transcend the ego, try, time to transcend the lower vibration so that you can enter into this space of using this energy, this great energy that the divine feminine has to build strong foundations, solid foundations for the next generation. Choose your path wisely, divine feminine. That's how you heal. Avoid drama, fight, pettiness, gossip. What else does the divine feminine need to know for their healing? Focus on for their healing. What's the divine feminine need to focus on for their healing? So this is something that came up in the um, fibroid investigations investigation. It says, take care of your needs in the fibroid investigation. It came up that 
the divine feminine, you know, women spend so much time focusing on others and others well being that they're neglecting their own needs and self. And that was actually leading to, um, you know, the, uh, the formation of fibroids as well. So in terms of your own healing divine feminine, the divine is saying, take care of your needs, like know when to take time out and focus on yourself, right? Like make sure there's a balance between being there for others and really being there for yourself. I'm going to call for the divine feminine and how can heal. So we have the shaman card that has come out. Um, the divine feminine really needs to focus on, you know, trusting in the divine. Folk, you know, you should have some type of spiritual practice. And a spiritual practice doesn't have to be sitting down at a, a an altar and doing this particular ritual. Your spiritual practice could be prayer and a walking meditation um, regularly. You know, like going outside, connecting with nature, sitting by water and saying a prayer. Your um, spiritual practice could be sitting in meditation. It can be scrying into crystals, journaling, just taking time out, right, to connect to the divine. It can be ancestor work, um, you know, lighting candles in honor of the women amongst your bloodline, right, who who were raped and, and murdered and abused. That can be part of your spiritual, um, you know, practice. But there's a need to tune into self, right? Tune out of all of the other stuff, tune into self and connect with the divine. The divine is also saying that some of you are so used to making things happen, right? With this fiery energy manifesting, being the ones to get, get shit done. Um, but they want you to trust in them. The divine wants us to trust in them and to stop feeling like we have to make everything happen all the time. That's one of the ways that we can heal as the divine feminine. There's definitely with the owl here, um, a need to tune in, tap into divine wisdom. I believe that we, um, it's good for us to have divination practices as well, whether that's cards, whether that's a pendulum, you know, scrying into water, fire, crystals, it's good to have some practice, some way to connect with the divine and gain divine wisdom. So that could support our healing as well. Choose more activities that bring joy to you. That's something that came up for healing the divine masculine as well. They want you to feel empowered and confident um, and also do things that are going to bring joy and light to your life that will support the healing of the divine uh, feminine. There's a need for confidence. Um, there's a need for us to know that we have everything we need to create the life we want, right? So it's like taking this passionate energy, coming up with a plan and putting that plan into action that supports the healing of the divine feminine. Following your passions is also really helpful. That's something that came up in the fibroid spiritual investigation, following passions. You know, when you're feeling like this, when you have like that anger, that annoyance kind of rising up, taking that energy, that passion and putting it into a passion project instead of using it in this unhealthy way. What does the divine feminine need to know about their healing? How I can heal? How can the divine feminine heal? Can the divine feminine heal? So there's something here that says remembrance, forget me not. This could be something related to ancestors. So maybe ancestor work is very important for the divine feminine in terms of healing. Um, it says memories and the past hold the key. So there's something um, in the past of the collective uh, divine feminine that we need to tune into that will help us in healing. I read a book recently 
um, about the Sibyls. And Sibyls were the priestesses um, that were highly revered and sought after. People from all over went to visit these Sibyls. Most of the Sibyls were um, female and they would make predictions um, and connect to their deities to provide these messages to people. And that book, you know, when I was going through it, I'll put it um, in the comments. But when I was reading it, it was just so interesting to see that at one point, you know, before what we have now, the divine was viewed as feminine. You know, the divine was, was feminine. And that's been forgotten. So there's a need to kind of go back. This could also be in your own personal life. Where you need to kind of go back and remember certain things, learn from your mistakes, learn from um, choices that you've made in the past. That'll support your healing as well. What else do we need to know for the divine feminine healing? Renewal. So that's time to begin again. Stronger and better. Courage, rebate, be brave, be strong and believe. That goes with the chariot, the strength card. More effort will get you what you want. And virility, shake it up a little, you've got this. So again, there's this need to, you know, be mindful of the energy that we wield um, and use it in ways that are helpful to us and to the collective right into the global collective um be courage be confident be courageous be confident and know that you can build again the life you want and that you can bring changes for the better For the Divine Feminine, and this also came up for the Divine Masculine, it's time to begin again. Um, there's a need for cleansing, for healing, for, you know, a release of things that don't work for us and a going towards the things that fill us with joy, vitality, that um, give us strength that we feel good about. You know, like we've learned a lot of practices that are not helpful for us um, over time that you know, these practices have been passed down and it's time to really pay attention to what's a no and what's a go. You know, what do we need to let go of? Uh, what do we need to say no to? What do we need to say yes to in our lives? That will support the healing of the divine feminine as well. Let's get last messages. Yes, yes, yes. As the divine feminine, we are the alchemist. Right. We've been given this great ability to alchemize, to take tools, to work with the tools that we have, to take the substances that we have and um, put them together and make them better. The divine feminine needs to focus on balancing a balance between logic and emotion, um, a balance between, you know, chasing after and going after things and allowing things to come to us. The divine feminine has a great power to usher in a new way of being here on the earth. It's going to take us tuning in, tapping in to our um, inner spirit and also con continuing to connect with the divine. The divine wants you to be much more discerning. The divine is saying to me that part of your healing will come when you trust your intuition. Your intuition tells you right away when something would not be a good fit for you. When so, you know a direction, a path is not the way to go. But you often brush it off and go with it anyway. Like you'll know within that this is not something, this is not an offer that will work for you, but you take it and then you regret it later. The divine is saying, take your time. Um, stop 
and acknowledge that voice because it has guidance, great guidance for you. Divine Feminine, I hope this has been helpful. Um, and we just have so much work to do, but I know we can do it. I truly believe in us. See you next time. Bye.